Welcome back everyone. In this episode we're going to explore how to enhance observability in your Golang application by setting up logging using Loki and Grafana. We'll be using Alloy to collect and send logs to Loki and then visualize them in Grafana. But before we dive into the setup, let's quickly talk about observability. I covered most of this topic using Promtail in episode 79. Since Promtail is deprecated, I'm using its replacement alloy in this episode. Observability is a key concept in modern application monitoring. It consists of three main components. First and foremost is logs. These provide detailed event-based data about what's happening inside your application. Logs help debug errors and track application behavior. Then comes the metrics. These are numerical measurements that help us understand system performance over time, like CPU usage, memory consumption, or request latency. And finally, traces. These follow a request as it moves through different services, helping diagnose bottlenecks in distributed systems. For this episode, we'll focus on logs and see how Loki, a powerful log aggregation system, helps us centralize and analyze logs efficiently. We will begin with a Go application that uses Slog to write logs to a file. Then we will use Alloy to read those logs and send them to Loki over HTTP. And then we retrieve the logs by sending queries to Loki using Grafana. Here is the page that explains how to install Grafana tools. I am using Ubuntu, so I will be performing the steps defined for Debian. These steps set up the Grafana apt repository on a Debian-based system to install Grafana. In the first step, a directory is created. This directory is used to store GPG keys securely for verifying package authenticity. I already have this directory in my system, so skipping it. This command downloads and stores the Grafana GPG key. This final command adds the Grafana apt repository. After adding the repository, we need to update package lists. Now we will install Loki, Alloy and Grafana. Now that we have all the packages installed, let's look at the net HTTP application we are going to use for this demo. We are going to use Slog, which we discussed in episodes 22 and 26 in detail. Do check out these episodes. Here we have configured Slog. We are going to write logs in JSON format. In the options we have set the level to debug. Then we have set the default logger to the logger we created. Throughout the app I have added multiple logs using Slog. We will direct all application logs to this file. In the production environment you would be running this as a service. Now let's look at the alloy configuration. Here in the beginning, we set a unique name for the log scraping job. This helps categorize logs in Loki and allows filtering in Grafana. We have defined it as sample app. The target is localhost for local logs. This path specifies the file path from which logs are collected. We are writing application logs in this file. The job name is set to application. This assigns a job label to the logs, helping group logs in Loki. We specify the Loki URL here. We are running Loki in localhost, and this is the URL. If you are using Promtail and want to move to Alloy, you can use this command to generate the configuration. I have started Alloy and Loki. Let's see how we can visualize these logs in Grafana. First, we need to log in with admin credentials. We need to add Loki as a data source. We can do so in connections. Here is Loki.
Now click on the Add New Data Source button. We fill in the URL of Loki. Now, click on Save and Test. We will create a query in the Explore section. Let's select the job. This will show all logs based on the selected job. Now run this query. In the graph, we can see logs in a bar graph with time as the x-axis. The logs are listed here. Let's say we want to list logs that have level info. First, we add JSON parser. Then we add another operation, label filter. We add the label and its value. The label is level. The value is info. Now when we run the query, we will see logs with info level only. And there you have it. But remember, we've only scratched the surface. Grafana is an incredibly powerful tool with endless possibilities for monitoring, alerting and visualizing data. From setting up dashboards to integrating with other data sources, there's so much more you can do. I encourage you to explore further, experiment with queries, set up alerts and dive into Grafana's rich ecosystem. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tutorials on Go and Observability. See you in the next episode.